All right. So I mainly play Fortitude. Hopefully there's other people there. I can get y'all into wanting to try out Fortitude or just even understand how Fortitude will work to a lesser degree or a major degree, depending on how you want to know. But you understand how they work and you know how to play around them. Right. I'm B Tactics. Look, resistance is your most important stat. I'm not going to lie. Because the 40% boost you get to your resistances, um, I feel like 10K is enough right now. Like, um, I'm not getting one shot. I'm not getting two shots. I'm probably taking like three, four hits at minimum. And normally someone's always healing. So, like, I really feel like I'm not really taking damage. If you're wondering why the altered is low, or maybe you're playing 42 and you don't understand how to upgrade your altered resist, I will tell you this. You want to be able to upgrade resistance. Not uh, elemental resist isn't bad, but the only way to upgrade alternate resist is upgrading, you know, um, the normal resist. Like you see it right here, when attacked by someone the same level, reduce alter damage taking my forty four percent. I want to hit that fifty percent. Like this is fifty percent, uh, forty eight percent. You know that 50, that 50% 50 seems like a good spot. Can you go higher? Maybe, but I don't know if I get the, you know, the same percentage back. Like you see here, oh, this is just pluses. I, I don't really understand the, uh, how the, the attack really gets the huge bonuses. Like, I think this is the 15% for flame, but I understand how this is working. So let's, let's look at my, um, my gear, right? This is my flame, um, my flame tank setup. So I am looking to do flame damage. Now the main stats I look for within like, um, well, first let's talk about the gloves and the boots. I think crit's most important. These are your attack spots, well, your damage spots where you want to stack as much offense as you can. What crit, if you can get the elemental attack you want, great attack, and then you want resist. It just helps out. But you want it to roll in the crit though. If you're asking me what you want to block here, honestly, I think I'd block resistance, but you know, it's, it's up to you. Or maybe you'll block attack. But like if when if I, I didn't block anything here, if I did, I'd probably block HP or resistance. Just be, I mean, the, um, the frost attack, just because I wanted crit. And if I got resistant to HP, I can use it for like any piece of gear. But crit's most important, okay? Gloves, again, crit. You just want the crit. I don't want to make this too big, too long of a vid. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get crit. The most important stats. I didn't get attack. That's cool. Got resistance. I probably would have blocked off attack if I was upgrading this. I mean, not attack. Um, HP, just because um, I find resistance and my attack slots to be more important. These other slots, right? You want to have if you can. HP, resistance, main elemental attack, and attack. You want to roll at least one resist, you know, at minimum. I would say if I'm looking to be like a real like tanky tank, I'd want to have at least like on average for rolls, two into resist, one into HP, and then whatever goes with attack and, and you know, your elemental attack, you'd hope it just rolls into there, right? Just like here, you know, I, I didn't get the uh, the stat I want. I got physical resist. I'm not saying this is bad. You never want an elemental resist to roll more than once. Once it rolls more than once, it's, it's too much of a roll into one area that you may not get most use out of. So I really would try to tell people not to get this. Um, I just rolled. I didn't block anything. At least I don't think so. I probably um started blocking physical resist once it rolled here once. And I got all attack. I think this is great even for, you know, attack. But we're not trying to talk about that. We're just trying to talk about, you know, your, your, um, your gear in general. But that's basically what I'm trying to do, you know? Um, as far as like these, um, like the the tactical eyepiece, I would say if you can get crit rate, then like maybe elemental attack damage boost or elemental attack, you know, for a percentage, that's, those would be great. Um, suppose you can get altered percent here. I would say you can get altered percent. If you can get one roll into that, that's great. Or you can just get altered at least like once. You know, you roll it once, it's a great bonus. You don't have to worry about it. Cause I feel like I, from my experience, I only got altered resist from my eyepiece, okay? Now, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. Again, I'm not a mastermind. I just try to give out information as best I can and telling you what's working 
for me, like I can 100% tell you this is working for me, right? But yeah, I'd rather get percentage in these spots. Like if it's not percentage, it doesn't really feel so well. Like this vote resist, yeah, I just don't think this was good in general, but this is the best I had. It gave me some resist. Um, I got some vote resist, cool, HP. I'd rather it be HP percent. Like percentages are really good in these slots. Like here, flame damage boost, I love it. Wish I have vote damage boost because I'm not using vote. HP and vote resist, yeah, the vote resist, I don't like it, but I'd rather it roll into vote resist than vote damage boost because I'm not using any weapons there. And at least I have some form of use if I fight a vote enemy. I get no use from vote damage boost until I get a fortitude, you know, a 42 weapon that's going to use that. But yeah, this is how I get my stats. Oh, ooh, we don't want to go into frost. But this is how I got my stats to be upgraded. Again, I, I, I hope at some point I can get to that 50%. Um, 11K seems like it's not, you know, at 50%. So I would like to get that there. But again, if, if you can get this at 10K, it feels like it's good enough. I, I guess the magic spot's gonna be around 1200 for resistance. Like if you can get there, that'll be good. You know, 50%, you, you're gonna be half and by the damage. But I do wanna put out there, even though you're taking half the damage like this now, right, is reducing damage. When, when you're going, and you're queuing up into anything, you're gonna get a perk that's gonna make you take even less damage, okay? Right? Increase damage reduction by 20. Oh, oh no. Yeah, reduce damage by 25%. Then in team play, further boost damage reduction by 20%. That's 45 right there. So you got 45, right? And then you have you have your gear here, you know. For my alter reasons, it's 44%. I really feel bulky. I want to get to that 10k just because you know, a rounded number. I don't feel like you need to go above 10k. But even though this is 50%, I just don't think it. But Let's actually try to queue up for something. We're going to try to queue up for VA6. And hopefully we get the benediction. So you can see, like, how easy it is for me to be able to stay alive. All right? We're, we're going to try to queue up with random players. If it doesn't work, I'll let you know. See what we can get here. Here I go. All right, so we're going to have some content now. I couldn't get um players for... Uh, the thing I was trying to go for. I don't know. I've been struggling lately. Oh, gosh. Push the wrong button. Wow. When Frost doesn't go down first? What? But this isn't going to be a good uh, a good example because this raid is just too easy. I won't take any damage like on these, on these raids because there's always going to be someone shielding you. So you're just never gonna take damage. Like I literally took zero damage. Like I wasn't even playing, you know? So that's a bummer. On to the next one. All right, we are back. We are back. Get myself over there. Get myself over there, please. Okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I wish I could kind of start off with another weapon, but like, I can't start with another weapon. Because I want to start with not using that weapon. Hmm, I took some damage. I'm going to just throw this bigger shield on. I don't know where I can really stand that. Oh, okay, I'll stand by this bunny. No one should be standing around here. Oh, gosh. Hmm. To do this. Make sure I can negate damage. I'm trying to do this so I can drop some extra heals on the ground. They're not gonna be world's greatest. I don't. Yeah, they, I can't take um, aggro when they drop certain things down. Like that shield, I can't stop them from taking that. So I'm taking um, aggro. They're gonna have aggro every time the boss touches that shield.
So I'm gonna try to stay. Oh gosh. Anyone still in there? Oh freak. They just threw it in there and took the hit. Okay, well we're, st we're still alive. We are still alive. I wish I knew his name was that. I'm gonna just stay like this for. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let me do some dodging. Okay. Make sure I have this aggro 100%. Give me some heals on that. Hmm. I don't really want to fight him there, but I can take advantage of being able to stand by the water. Can see where those enemies are. I don't see where the enemy. Oh gosh. Okay. I thought I. Was... Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Okay. Cool. 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 Try to find a spot I can stand at. I can stand right here. The reason why I was looking for a, a different place to stand at that other allies aren't standing by is because if I get hit, I don't want them to get hit too. I'm starting to feel like it doesn't even matter though. <laughs> I tried to time that right. Nice. I don't see any healing actually happening either. That's good. I'm gonna get out of that because I know it's gonna be a hit. I'm gonna stand behind on this little ice area. So maybe more hits are directed at me, not near them. Let's see. Oh, we got it done. See that? I feel like I can hold aggro the whole time. Of course, my uh, my weakness is not knowing where the enemy is. <laughs> well, we can look. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna do a bunch of damage. But again, there's a lot of players that are playing as you know attack DPS. And I'm giving them an attack buff. I want them to have the attack buff. Now, I, I got damage received low because a lot of resistance. You know, but that's really how you try to play online. You're able to get buffs. You know, you can give an attack buff, a resist buff, and you also have on top of that a frost and flame resist buff. Now, again, I don't really like the flame resist buff, but I mean, I use it because it comes with an 8% damage buff to everyone else. So yeah, if, have y'all been playing 42? Do y'all have lawn? Do y'all like lawn? Does it make you wish you had lawn? Because I don't think you can summon for lawn anymore. But yeah, y'all take care, be easy. And yeah, happy gaming. Thank you for watching the video, like and subscribing, because you can put that subscribe button right over here. And don't forget, you can watch the videos over here. I want to see you in there too, all right? You enjoy yourself.